Hey guys, the image generation arms race is on and my new, my uh, favorite one, Rev, just dropped a brand new update. So I know Ross did a video yesterday just kind of showing off the new features of it. Today, I want to pin the new version of Rev versus Nano Banana because hey, everyone says Nano Banana is the best right now. Let's see how these both handle three completely different scenes. And then the main strength of both of these programs is supposed to be that we can take a scene that we've already gotten, add a prompt, and get that same scene again with an update from the prompt. So I want to see how they both did with this as well. Uh, please let me know in the comments, uh, you know, exactly which one you think is best. I'll tell you now, I don't know if there's a winner, but I'm just excited for everyone's comments. I think they're both great, um, but I did have some struggles. So, hey guys, I'm Brian, half of the Creative AI Show, where we're two creative guys talking AI, putting videos up on YouTube every day, stuff like this, just to show you how to use all these awesome new tools. So if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. But all right, let's take a peek here. So I got three different scenes that we're doing for us today. First one is going to be kind of my classic, um, you know, Rosh and I like to do this where it's like a, a fashion model going down a bustling Manhattan street. Um, I included golden hour with it, a flowing emerald green dress that catches in the wind. Um, because I wanted this to be New York city, I wanted it to be a high concentration of yellow taxi cabs. Um, I wanted some streaks of uh, motion blur and stuff like that in the background, neon sites, storefront. Um, it says wet asphalt here. I don't know if I really got that too much, but you guys be the judge. Um, but all in all, all right, so here is the new version of Rev with that initial prompt. Let's take a peek here and see how uh, this, this one did. So looking at this one here, um, I think her face, I don't see any real distortions. Maybe that eye is a little bit closed. Her hair looks nice and natural in the wind and it matches the motion of her green, emerald green dress or jacket here. Her hands look good. The cars in the background look stellar. So you've got your um, frame, you know, the actual person in the frame up front, nice and zoomed in and focused on her. But we got the motion blur going on with these other cars in the background. Only kind of issue I'm seeing here is with the neon kind of in the background. So not too bad, but still I'll give that like a nine out of 10 looking, looking really good. Um, this one here I think is nearly perfect. So, you know, even the, uh, the neon signs in the background are good. Um, even the tops of the cabs look good and it knows that, um, New York city actually switched to Toyotas for their cabs and they actually have the design of the cab, right? Not to mention if in this image, what are we seeing about eight cars and at least four of them, uh, seven cars, at least four of them are cabs which is that's very typical of New York City. So again, Rev, your new updated version looking great here. Um, without asking, I did get three versions based on my prompt where with Gemini only got one, but hey, we're looking good. We're doing good. This one again is good. I think her eyes might be just a touch off, but otherwise, you know, her hair looks good. Jacket's good. Cars in the background, all good. Every one of these are an A or an A plus. I think they're awesome. So let's see how Gemini did with that same prompt. Um, really good. I mean, so you got your classic Crown Vic um, one here. This is even like a little marquee that's very similar to New York City. Um, this one, it's got the thing on top for a taxi, but it doesn't quite look like a taxi. But hey, not every taxi has to be yellow. So, but looking at the actual um, actress or the model in the image here, our face looks absolutely perfect. I see no issues or distortions there. Hair looks good. Green dress flowing. Hands look good. I'd say this one again is like an A or an A+. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, still pretty darn good there. Gemini, especially when Rev, you know, brought it, brought it pretty good. So, all right, next one. Now I wanted to have a little bit of fun with. So what's cool about Rev now is you can actually do albums so you can start different projects. So, you know, um, you know, it's kind of a lot like a canvas on the, you know, um, chat GPT or Gemini or something like that, where you get what you're working with over here on the right side of the screen, and then you get your prompt and back and forth happening here. So, um, I did do an update on her wearing a blue dress. So, um, I want to, I'll go over that in a minute here, but let's first look at the, uh, the albums that I did. So this this one here, um, the intergalactic tavern, a dimly lit tavern curved with bioluminescent walls, pulsing in blues and purples, two aliens leaning, crossing, you know, talking intensely. Um, background shows diverse alien patrons. So a tentacled barber, a bartender, floating jellyfish like creatures, all sorts of fun stuff happening here. So let's take a peek here even closer. And, um, all right. So both the alien figures here that are, are in the middle of a conversation, they definitely look like they're looking at each other. Definitely outside the box type of, um, work there prompted here. It's not so good because the bartender doesn't have tentacles, but I do see the floating jellyfish. I see the different color, you know, neons in the background and def definitely different aliens. Got a very good star Wars type feel still. I'm ready to give this like an A. I think it's really good. Um, all right, this scene right here. So we've got this alien here. Uh oh, there his, the drink is floating above his hand. I found a mistake there, but I tell you, it's hard to find these mistakes. Again, the bartender though doesn't have tentacles, but that's fine. We do have some floating jellyfish. The aliens in the background look super cool and shiny. Um, I mean, really, you know, unless there's maybe like 
a stem to this, like it's a wine glass and he's holding on to that, but that's really the only issue I'm seeing right there. Otherwise, I love the lights and the ceilings. I love the purples. I love the blues. I think this one looks really, really good. Um, last one here. Again, super duper good. Now her arms are completely different. So this one's like a purple arm. That one's not, but it could just be a matter of the lighting. Um, jellyfish still floating. Um, we've got some distortions going on back here. I don't really quite know what this is. Um, but again, we're in an alien world, so it's going to be all sorts of kind of off the wall, kind of crazy things. So let me know what you think in the comments, which ones you like the most. Let's see how Gemini did with that same prompt. Um, so here's my dimly lit tavern. Uh, ooh, we do have a tentacled bartender back there. We do have the, jo the, the jellyfish floating. We've got this alien and this one, and they're looking over maybe galaxy plans and different outside the box things. I like how the table's floating. That's a cool touch. Um, my only criticism here is that this feels a touch illustrated. This isn't quite the photorealism that we were getting from Rev. See, like Rev here, like looking at the side of her face, the features, it looks much better in terms of photorealism. And that's what I've always loved about Rev. So I think I'd put this one a little bit ahead of Gemini right now um, of Nano Banana in, in that instance. But altogether, still really good. Every one of these images, I would say, has been at least an A, um, if not A+. plus. So we're looking really good there. All right, last scene, I went simple on you. Um, I wanted a 1960s. 60s kitchen, um, modern kitchen, and this is where I added some updates and stuff. So I wanted, um, a, you know, a, a thing of fruit set on a table. I wanted this to be as photorealistic as possible. Um, this called for soft natural light coming through the windows, subtle shadows, um, shadows. So I mean, all together, I mean, look at this. Even getting the the little bit of brutes bruises on the banana that looks really good. Uh, reflection across the apple, the orange texture looks really good. Um, the wall clock looks a little funny, but actually I believe that was part of the prompt here. Um, yeah, the atomic era inspired light fixtures and a boomerang shaped clock. So yeah, that clock is a little boomerang shaped. All in all, still really, really good here. Um, but you know, if you're looking in the foreground here, ooh, that orange, I don't think it's as good. That orange looks a little on the fake side to me. Banana still looks super good. The grapes look good. I love how it's matching the light that's coming in from the window. Uh, even the grain on the table looks super duper good. Um, even the basket also looks legit, nice and weaved together. I don't see any sort of issues. And a lot of times when you get into a lot of details like this, this is where they start to fail and falter. But it's still really good. Um, here's another one looking good. So now is where I tried to mess with its modifications. So it's like, I want to give it a prompt and say, Hey, great. Now change the last image to include wallpaper of a floral design on the walls. All right. So I just chose this last image and I said, Hey, I want wallpaper. And it, it added wallpaper and made a couple new scenes, which is fine. But look, this one right here, and I'll escape out of this. Right here is this image. I said the last one and then this one right here. So even if you look at the windows are the same, the teapot in the background is the same, the fruit of basket or the basket fruit um, is the same, the grain on the table is the same, but it added some really good floral wallpaper. So I would say it nailed this modification perfectly. Looks really, really good there, Rev. Um, so pretty good. And now I wanted to push it even a step further. I said, great, now make it rain outside. So there's the trick. And we're going to go back to Google here in a minute, and I'll show you the fail that it had for me. But look at these. Now, this is where it failed on me a little bit. Now, if you look at the size of the fruit, the size of the window, but look at the size of the water droplets on there. They're slightly out of proportion. They are not quite good. And also the window looks kind of basic and boring. So I'm happy the rain's outside. I'm happy that's good. But again, this one right here, that rain doesn't look real. That looks like much bigger drops, and they're kind of blurry where they should be sharp and looking really good. Not to mention we got a whole bunch of blur happening right over here. Um, I mean, I know we're focused on the foreground here with the fruit, but, you know, the, the background blur is not too, too good, especially when you do have some really good detail on the uh, the wallpaper, but then you're blurring out other things. So eh, a little bit of a miss there, but still not too bad. This last one here, this one actually still looked the realest, but again, it's too bad big. These water droplets don't look real for the size of that window. I would need them to be a lot smaller, a lot more defined for it to have really nailed it. But as much as it did struggle, check out what Gemini did to me. So, all right. So first of all, here's the scene. Beautifully 1960 modern um, kitchen. Looks super duper good. The light coming in from the window is good. Boomerang shaped clock. You've got some teal here. Wood grain looks perfect. Uh, the fruit looks absolutely perfect. I'm giving this one an A+. This is perfect nano banana. But can you take my prompts and update it? I said, great. Now change to include wallpaper floral design. 
and it nailed it again and it did an even better job because the wallpaper is blurry why because the the center of focus is on this fruit basket on the table so the wallpaper better be blurry whereas if you go back here that wallpaper is a bit too defined so it did okay there here's where it failed on me all right and i had a little bit of an argument with it it was kind of fun um Let's see here. So I said, now make it rain outside. I could do that. Here's the image with rain outside. And it brought rain inside. Boo. Dun, 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 dun. So then I said, the rain is on the inside. Update this to only show rain outside. And it said, oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. Here's the updated image. It updated nothing. Nothing. The exact same image. So this, um, you know, I had the same troubles with Nano Banana where I tried to do an updated picture with myself with some gray and it gave me a little more than I cared for. So I said a little less gray, but it gave me the same image again. So I think that's one of the main issues that we're seeing with it. So I said, nope, still not right. And said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. My apologies. And then gave me the same image again. And then I said, fail. I said, absolutely right. You're right to point out my failure. I apologize. Where's one more to correct it? Still didn't do it. So I said, you stink. RevArt was able to handle this. I thought you were the best. So sometimes it's fun with these AIs to kind of push them and prod them a little bit. And it's like, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't meet your expectations. You know what? I'm struggling. Can you give me a whole new prompt? And it says, okay. Yeah, let's start fresh. So what I did was instead is I updated the prompt to, I said, a dark and stormy weather visible through the window instead of it saying, you know, nice light coming in through the window. And now here's the clear description and it nailed it. Super duper good. So we don't have the wallpaper. That's fine. We still have a boomerang shaped clock. The fruit looks really good, especially that orange over there. I like how the grapes are kind of falling out. You got some bruises on the bananas. You got some good looking rain out there. Um, I mean, I'd argue that maybe it's a touch too big, but not bad at all. I'd say altogether it nailed the prompt. So each one here had some pluses and some minuses. I'm not ready to declare an official winner or loser, but I would love to know what you guys think in the comments. So please let me know and let me know which one you like using. Do you like the new updates on Rev? Let me know. Um, guys, every Monday, Rosh and I do the Creative AI Show. We talk 20, 30 minutes about using new tools like this and you know our successes our fails our wins our losses and how we're doing this for our own creative stuff and to help out our clients so keep on following if you haven't liked and subscribed yet please do and uh, otherwise um, we'll see you later and we're two creative guys talking ai